You know, and for 19 years, a week short of 19 years, that is how we welcome New York to this program. Every day, or most days, sometimes not in the summer, sometimes a rare day here or there. But that was the sound that uh, beckoned everybody that started the Mike and the Mad Dog program. As you know, last night you learned that uh, the Mike and the Mad Dog program will be no more. As uh, Dog has decided to move on. And the response has been, uh, to me, overwhelming. You know... We started this program on September 5th, 1989. It was a a shotgun wedding, as everyone may remember if you're old enough. It was almost a a quickie divorce. We did not get along very well in the beginning. The show was considered to be a colossal misjudgment the first couple of weeks. Within nine months, it was the toast of the town, and... Fortunately for Dog and myself, it has remained that for these many years. Uh, It has remained a show that has been at the top of the ratings, thankfully, for all those years because of you. And I know for many of you, and for me, and I know for Dog, this is a very sad occasion. You know, radio, what makes radio so special is that it allows you into people's lives in a very personal way. They feel your anger. They get angry with you. They feel your pain when something goes wrong in your life. They're jubilant when good things happen. Over 19 years, we've experienced a lot here. Not only our fights that were very public, And that is the part that seems to get accentuated. But remember, five or six nasty squabbles in 19 years is not that many. We've gone through marriages. We've gone through the birth of seven children. We've gone through the passing of loved ones. We've gone through some very memorable days. And with you, with us, all the while and thankfully we were able to be here all those years and to become very much the fabric a part of the fabric of this great city and really part of the foundation as someone who called me last night said that you and dog became the sports soundtrack of everybody's lives in new york over the last 20 years That Mike and the Mad Dog became a must-listen was something that was always appreciated. I don't think ever taken for granted. And something that I think, you know, will remain a big part of our lives for as long as we live. I know, you know, anything else I do from here. I'm 54 years old. I've just agreed to stay here for five more years. And I'm going to after a a quick vacation, put together a new program that'll have some new elements. I said I'd never have another partner, and I won't. That's not the idea. The idea is for me to have some folks along who can offer some opinions, have some fun, offer some uh, different perspectives and some personality, and I'm looking forward to it. We have not picked anybody. We have not even remotely begun that process. We have not even talked to anybody. And might not for another week or two. We're in no rush. We're in no rush. We know we'll put together a name. We'll put together some jingles. And we'll put together some people to join us on the program as we go along. But first I want to do. Tell you that I know what you're feeling. Because I feel it too. I mean this show has been a major part of my life. I mean it's been my heart for 19 years. Not every day is wonderful. Not every day in life is wonderful. But so many of them have been so special. Don't think for a second that I or Dog did not understand how fortunate we have been to have hit everything just right in New York where we were able to create this 
And for it to have the lasting power that it had, remarkably over 19 years. I mean, we were number one within nine months of when we came on the air, and we were number one this winter and this spring, 19 years later. And that is quite an achievement. But the most important part is when you have someone tell you, you know, I grew up with your show. I learned about sports listening to your show. You've been a part of my day every day for 20 years. I was homesick from job for a couple of months and things weren't going well. And you guys were there with me every day and made me laugh and got me through it. And a guy who said, I lost my job and, you know, I didn't feel real good about myself, but I, at least I had you guys to be there for me every day and be something I could look forward to. And frankly, that's what this show's given me for two decades, something very much to look forward to because it has been a pleasure doing it. It has been an honor doing it. And I hope We've never taken it for granted. Now, I'm sure some people probably feel the times we have. I'm sure sometimes we've acted that way and we shouldn't have. But don't think for a second that we haven't understood and respected and loved the relationship that we've had here with the audience. I mean, the idea that this city would allow us to have a show that has been able to last this long. I mean, everyone talks about, hey, 19 years. And 19 years is a long time. It's a long time to be part of a team. It's not always easy being part of a team. It isn't. Maybe it should be. And frankly, there were times I was not a good partner. Many times. And I'm sure there are times when Dog probably felt the same way.